Classic by Super Collector Clark. Hey you guys, it's Clark from Super Collector Clark. How you guys doing? It's been way too long since I've done a Jurassic related video on my YouTube channel. I have a little uh, toy that I've been meaning to do a video on. I have a bunch of them down there. These were available back when Jurassic Park 3 came out. Without further ado, I'm gonna jump in, get this guy out, and see it in person. So this one is a Velociraptor. Um, the base has a Jurassic Park <clears throat> 3 logo and it's it's like a see-through. Um, I believe they're trying to mimic or it's, it's supposed to represent the amber uh, thing uh, from Jurassic Park 1 where the mosquito got trapped inside where they extracted the DNA. Yeah, so that's a nice touch there. And so this one is a, again, a Velociraptor. Uh, I forget if they, if this one is a male or a female Vel uh, Velociraptor, but I always uh, loved the Velociraptors from uh, Jurassic Park 3. It's great that Stan Winston did a lot of the animatronics on that. I mean, he did all of the anim animatronics and it was a great mix of CGI. On my first viewing, I, I really didn't like Jurassic Park 3, but upon multiple viewings, it really grew on me. Let me um, actually, I can zoom in a little more so I can get a closer. Yeah, look at that. Very, very nice looking. So I love this. I believe maybe it's a female. Um, I remember Chronicle Collectibles talking about making maybe considering doing a uh, like a one to one head bust of Jurassic Park three Velociraptors, and they were considering doing one with this uh, coloring, this uh, particular Velociraptor. Okay, so if I if I take too long on each one, it's gonna this video is gonna be like an hour long, so I'll try to keep it short. But I'm just gonna try to give the best view, and let's see what's on the um, bottom here. Okay, here we go. Velociraptor. Oh, it's a male. Okay, I'm sorry, I totally made a mistake. And it says number three, so uh, it has all the numberings, and it's got. Universal Studios, Amblin, the Coca, the Coca-Cola company. Oh, I didn't know they had the, and like I said, it's made by Kaiyodo. So it's a fantastic piece. I'm uh, really loving it. All right, so that's, that's one. I'm gonna set it aside. So now this one, I'm pretty sure it's a T-Rex. It's a very green colored T-Rex. Maybe it's the one that popped out uh, at the very beginning, towards the beginning, when Alan Grant and his team or the or the whole uh, family um, was running away from the uh, Spino and they ran across this T-Rex. It was feeding off of some other dinosaur and when Alan Grant says, do not move a muscle or something like that, and everybody screams and runs away. It was a very uh, funny, funny part of the movie. So, um, yeah, very detailed. Look at all that, all those teeth. And the eye there. And the ribs. And the little stripes on the back. Wait, let, me, let me just make sure it's a T-Rex. I mean, I don't want to... Yeah, it's a, it's a T-Rex. And this one's a number two. Okay, so the size-wise, it's not accurate. Uh, yeah, the Velociraptor is way too big for it. But, um, yeah, look at, look at the dynamic pose. It's like running, it's like 
totally chasing after you. I mean, imagine it. Yeah, look at that angle. That's awesome. Wow. It's almost like uh, the scene from Jurassic Park 1 where it's chasing the, uh, the Jeep. Um, yeah. Very nice. Okay. So that's number three. Let's go to this one. Okay, next one. So here's another uh, Velociraptor. Again, it's got the Jurassic Park 3 logo and man, the coloring on these are just super, super amazing. I, I absolutely love it. And, and I don't know if you can see, but let's see if it focuses on the eye. Wow. It's got like a red little, uh, like a outline, I mean, outside of the eye, which gives it this totally crazy look. I mean, it's, that's freaky. I mean, wow. That's a very scary looking Velociraptor. Look at that. Wow. Okay, and I, I'm definitely digging the uh, patterns, the check patterns. Uh, uh, the diamond, I mean, look at that. Imagine a dinosaur with like those designs, these color, color patterns. Wow. Let's see, are they like the same sculpt? No, they're not, okay. I mean, they look very familiar. I mean, not familiar, they, they, they look very similar, but they're, yeah, they're definitely a different sculpt. Um, yeah, I mean, the shape of the tail, look at that. Yeah, and maybe this one's a female, I don't know. I might be wrong four here so here's the velociraptor female okay yeah i'm really liking this one so that's the uh third one <clears throat> okay let's pick up the next one now we have the Stego, right? Let me just check before I go on. Let's see if it focuses. Okay, here we go. Stegosaurus, yes. Yeah, so this one, eh, it's, yeah, it's, it, I guess it's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Nothing too special color wise, but yeah, it's a it, pretty interesting uh, looking uh, posture there. Yeah, maybe it's, you know, trying to uh, defend itself from the T-Rex or something. Yeah, maybe, maybe it is. If I put it side by side, I mean, yeah, it's like a, trying to get its tail there to whip the, uh, T-Rex from getting attacked or getting eaten like psh. Wow, look at that like that Yeah, that right there is awesome. Yeah, I would probably like set it like that But color wise they look uh, maybe a little too similar so I would maybe want a more uh, grayish or brownish stego um to go along with it if I were to display it like this but um, yeah let's see yeah it's got the uh, detailed face there everything is painted Wow look at the tail here Okay, very nice, very nice. Very nice. Okay, let's move on.
<clears throat> now next one is this guy these guys and uh, I feel stupid for not remembering the name of this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Here, let me see the back. Uh, please focus, please focus. There. The, uh, the, the, the copy. Oh shoot. Oh my gosh. Comp. Comp so good. Oh man. Did we call, did we say these were copies or something like that? Yeah, um, but uh, we saw these in uh, Jurassic Park two at the very beginning when the little girl gets attacked by these. Um, she was eating some uh, roast beef sandwich, and um, these guys kind of jumped out of the uh, of the uh, woods. And um, and attacked her. These are, these are little cute guys. Yeah, but um, again, the coloring on these and the eyes especially are crazy detailed. And you see the teeth there. Okay, I'm starting to figure out how to get a good focus on these. Yep, and again, the logo and the tail. I love the shape of that like a s shaped tail there yeah so again the size wise it's totally they're they're all you know i mean that's a t-rex there and that's the uh copy copy <laughs> sorry i'm i'm probably saying that totally wrong <laughs> apologize for that but look at the size so I guess they're all, they're all kept in the same uh, scale um, of about an inch and a half or so. I mean, yeah. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Here we have the trike, the triceratops. Let's see which number this one is. Oh, I forgot to check the uh, number on the other one. Um, let's see, focus. This one's number seven, triceratops. So this one is not a sick tricer triceratops, although you could probably lay it on its side like that kind of you know make it a, tr a sick triceratops from Jurassic Park 1 but yeah it's in a uh, it's kind of looking downwards um, yeah not a huge fan of the posing on this uh, can't really tell what it's trying to do here um maybe it's feeding on something yeah it's probably eating some uh some grass or something um yeah oh but looking at the detail on the face there look at that very nice Wow. Okay, so this one is number seven. Yep. What was the number on the... Uh... On the... Uh... This one's a number 11 on the uh... comp, comp, copy. Okay, and the next one is another one that I always cannot pr uh, pronounce. I could never get to pronounce this guy, but I've uh, this guy or her it has been 
my favorite, all-time favorite. Uh, these guys, I love it when in uh, in the uh, Universal Studios, the ride, the Jurassic Park, the ride. I know they're they're changing it, uh, which for me is kind of sad to uh, see it go um, to get it, you know, uh, changed into the Jurassic World. Uh, version um, I'm gonna miss the old Jurassic Park but you know things have has to uh, move on you know it, it's always fun to to see things get changed and I hope they do a good job changing it so yeah so this one very nice looking all right next one is a flying one and it's a pteranodon a number five okay so this one has a interesting color scheme uh, i guess it was kind of like this in jurassic park 3 towards the end it showed not towards the end it had a whole scene with the uh, pteranodon with the birdcage scene I, I actually love that scene that was a very uh uh, very intense, uh, scary moment there. The director of, of Jurassic Park Three is is from, is a uh, one of the uh, CGI guy from IL, ILM who, who also did Jumanji, the very first one with Robin Williams. Um, so he knows a lot about how to shoot the atmosphere. With a lot of fogs and which we saw in Jum Jumanji. Um, Jumanji was actually a pretty scary movie. Th um, even uh, I mean, I watched it like a few months ago, and it was pretty scary. And I, I and I remember as a kid watching that for the first time, and I was I was I was pretty scared. Um, and uh, yeah, maybe they had to tone it down a little bit for Jurassic Park Three. Uh, but still, it was a pretty uh, scary scene. I always thought, you know, it's kind of funny how these guys looked from the bottom. It looks like a human, like a little kid, you know, spreading its uh, um, his uh, arms out, and it looks and the and the legs totally look like human legs. So you know, it kind of looks like a human being with. You know, large wings spreading out, and um, yeah, I thought it's kind of cute, <laughs> actually. Yeah. Okay. So this one is. Let's see. Focus is number five. Okay. Let's see what we got next. We have a few more to go. Let's see if you can guess what this one is. Yep. Now this is the uh, Brachiosaurus. And it's in its iconic pose. Yes. It's the uh, very first dinosaur we saw in the whole franchise. And uh, standing on its two hind legs there uh, I don't remember if it was using its tail to balance its um, weight and everything um, yeah but uh, it's historically it's historically proven that they aren't able to stand on its two legs hind legs because of its massive weight um, but still, it's a very cool pose, and um, it was shown in uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom um, 2, and, and they used that scene, I mean, this, this posture, yeah, nah, this one's not too detailed, um, but yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool piece. Okay, and let's see which. Okay. Number nine. 
Brachiosaurus. Okay, very cool. Next one up. Is another Pteranodon. And if you were to set it up on a table, it would be kind of like this. It's totally flying. Very cool. I wonder what that is. It's a, maybe it's like an amber sap. Huh? What is that? Yeah, okay, it's part of the base, I believe. Yep, so it's flying. It's totally flying. I, I love, I like the color on this one better than the other one here. They're both very cool looking. And let's get the uh, close up on the face. Yeah, this one. Ah, oh, it's got the mean face. Look at that. Oh, the eyes. It's freaky. Oh, man. Imagine one of these just flying above you. I mean, I would totally freak out. Oh, wow. Yeah, I definitely like um, this. I have, um, uh, if you haven't seen my other video, I have, um, oh shoot, I forgot the name of the brand. Uh, oh, favorite, favorite, favorite company. Um, they it's a it's a totally different company they're also based in japan um and i bought i have these two pteranodons uh that are kind of uh fighting for for its food trying to take the the fish that it's uh got uh, away from it and um it's a very nice piece it, it's about the same size of uh, with this one but the pose in that one is very nice, and I've I've just I have a video totally dedicated for that piece. So if you're a fan of uh, these uh, pterodactyls or pteranodon, pteranodons, um, definitely check that one out. I have a playlist of all the um, uh, of of that. So a great piece. So it so it goes this way. Let's just stand there and let's see which. Number this one is too close. Does it say six? Oh wow, I can't tell. Looks like a zero or a six or uh I don't know. I can't tell. Wow, it's huh. Is it a six or a zero? Okay, doesn't matter. All right. Okay. Let's see what we have next. Now this guy, that head butts. It's a Pachy, right? Pachyosaurus. Uh, let's see which number and what it says on the back. This one's a number eight, Pachyosaurus. Now the base on this one I noticed is more on the green side. Maybe the other ones too. Okay, yeah, like the um, tri uh, the trike. This one's also a green. I, I failed to mention that. So um, all the herbivores, I believe, are. Or yeah, like this one. It's uh it's green. Okay. And the other ones that are carnivores are are the reddish amber like colored. So they I think that's the way they made it. Yeah, so again like this one it's green. Maybe it's hard to see, yeah. And the uh Velociraptors. See, it's the red amber. Maybe it's representing blood. Okay, so the packy here. Yeah, so the pattern on these are pretty crazy looking, you know. Okay, let's 
see the face now. Yeah. Yeah, I love the eyes on these. You know, everything I you know, collecting these little figures and you know, it doesn't it's not always uh, it's not always uh, um I'm not only talking about small figures, but uh it's all about the eyes. If they get the eyes right, it really sells how realistic they look. Um, yeah, so very well painted. Yeah, look at that. And again, it's very small piece. I mean, my hand. I could probably get like 10 of these on my hand, still have space. Okay. Next one up. I have two more. So this is second to last. And let's see what this one is. Ah. It is the Spino. Okay, it's not focusing. Okay, here we go. It's starting to focus. Okay, now I see the eyes. Okay. It's, a little, it's having a little hard time focusing, but wow, this one is painted really nicely. Maybe not the eyes. The eyes are a little, little off. I don't know. I don't know. This side, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, well, yeah, it's good. It's good. I mean, look at the teeth. The sail on the back. Yeah, wow. Um, personally, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a pretty big fan of the uh, Spinosaurus. Um, and I know there's a whole debate on the T-Rex and, you know, Spino and all that. And yeah, I'm not... Yeah, I don't, I don't like to argue or go on a debate on those things. I, I just love, you know, I mean, you know, who cares? I mean, they're all dinosaurs. And if you like Jurassic Park and dinosaurs, you, you love them all, you know? You don't need to uh, put one down uh, over another um, and say which one's better or anything. I mean, it's always good to uh, to have your favorite, but... You don't have to uh, deny someone for liking a dinosaur that you don't like or anything, you know. Just have fun. Yeah, so yeah, I'm really liking this. And look at the pattern on the side here. Wow. Well, some crazy patterns there. That's awesome. I love the white. Very cool. Yeah, I'm liking this one. Yep, and as a carnivore, it's got the red base. So that's the scheme they're going with there. See the back on the or the bottom? Oh, and this one is a number one Spinosaurus. Okay, very cool. Set that on the bottom there. And here's the last piece, which I kind of saved um, for last. And it's this one here. Let's see if it focuses. Here we go. Jurassic Park 3. And this is a skeleton of the Spino, right? Let me just make sure I'm right. Yeah. Um, let's see what it says. What does it say? Spinosaurus. Cranial. Cranial bones. Okay. So this, I, I believe this is a, uh, like a secret 
um, one of those rare ones that you can uh, that you get so these are all in a blind like a package where you couldn't see what you're gonna get when you buy a coca-cola and I think these are these are pretty hard to find I, I believe I'm not too sure um, you know I just because I just bought the whole complete set without actually you know going to the store and buying each of the coca-cola and um, getting these but this is yeah I, I'm really digging this piece very nice looking uh, yeah wow look at that it's a it's a rather small piece because it's just the head but it's much bigger of course it's you know it's way bigger it's way bigger um, I mean the whole face is is this is like the same size of this so yep and uh if you're a fan of jurassic world the first one you saw the t-rex where's the t-rex here we go where are they towards the end where you saw the t-rex kind of you know run through the bone display of the spino you know and it, you saw it kind of fly all, all over the place when the indominus rex uh was uh you know going crazy and um t-rex kind of came, came to the rescue so yeah so uh this is a great piece all right so let me let me kind of pan down to where i have there we go yeah so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 13 little figurines. They are all really nice. So far, my favorites are the Spino. I am loving the Spino. Um, and the Velociraptor. I don't, I like, I like, I think I like this one better. Yeah, the eyes. I mean, look at the crazy eyes. Oh, it looks okay. I should have shoot it. Had the uh, I should have filmed it this way, with better lighting. Sorry for that. Yeah, I, I might as well just do a, a quick rundown of each one, so it's it's much better. You can see it better here. Here's a Velociraptor. Here's a female, right? Female. And the uh, Stego, Stegosaurus. The tail whipped up like that. And we have the T-Rex. Yeah, very cool. Nice running pose. I mean, imagine that coming right at you. Okay. The Packy. Yep. And the uh, Compy. I feel stupid if I'm making a mistake on that. It, it's Compy, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This one's very shiny. Oh, and you can see the very nice detail on the face there. Look at the eyes. Again, the eyes is what really sells on these. Very cool. And the uh, Brachiosaurus. Let's see the face on this if I can. Oh, okay. Yeah, we couldn't see it very well on the last one uh, with the li last lighting. Um, sorry about that. It shows how I forgot how to shoot these <laughs> because I've been away from doing uh, videos on these. Very sorry, guys. Oh, but you can see all the details. Yeah. 
the the contrast of these two colors um maybe it's too much i don't know but again let me know if the uh, uh the scene from jurassic park one had the tail like that i know this one it says jurassic park three but it's it's a it's definitely from jurassic park one and the fallen kingdom and we have the uh, stego stego right i mean no i'm sorry i'm sorry this is <laughs> being stupid um this this one's the trike this one's the trike this one's the stego i might have said this one's the trike or something um so okay yeah okay so it looks much better with the better lighting um Wow, look at that. That's awesome. A little hard to focus there. The thing about autofocus, you know, talking about little camera here, uh, camera talk here, is that I, I always try to focus on what's, the clo what's closest to the camera. So the closest thing here is the base, which is in front of the uh, actual figure. So that's why it's trying to focus here rather than back here. So I'm trying to get my hands there. So it kind of, yeah, it does that. That's a little trick you do. You kind of put your hand behind it and it focuses on the, that part. So if you're trying to film something, you know, put your hand in, behind it and it'll, it'll usually focus better it's a little tip there and here's the guy or girl that i can't pronounce i'll keep on trying i'll keep on practicing one day i'll get it maybe you can you know comment down below on a little easier way to pronounce it like a little, a little you know a trick And did I show you guys this already? I think I did, but I'll do it anyways because I, I definitely like this a lot. Yeah, look at the eyes. I mean, that's freaky. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I love it. Well, the hands are pretty freaky too. Wow. Okay. And oh yeah, I definitely like this one too. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Um here's another Eternadon. Well maybe not the another another this one's one of them. Um I haven't done the other one yet. See, it's kind of hard to focus. Yeah. This one is the orangish, brownish one, and this one's a little more black, gray colored. Yeah. And last but not least, the skeleton. Cranial bones. And it's got like a little almost translucent uh, feel in the inside. Where it's like a see through sort of. Okay, so that's that. Um, here, let me get the whole picture there again. It's kind of spread out, so. Yeah, yeah it looks very cool, just, you know, sitting there like that. Kind of zoom out a little bit. 
can see my tomato soup there. All right, so um, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, let me know which one's your favorite. Yeah, comment down below your favorite out of these, which one you liked best. All right, so um, again, I will start doing more Jurassic related videos. Um, again, I'm sorry I haven't been doing one lately, but uh, I have uh, some more stuff that I can share with you. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you on my next one. All right, thanks for watching and I will see you again. Thank you.